Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley, and a massive shout out to Ranty Flat Earth for letting me use this little clip. He had George Netanyuk on his Ranty Flat Earth channel roundtable, and I joined. He was kind enough to actually just let me join via the Skype, so I just literally called him. He added me to the phone conversation. I waited patiently till he introduced me, made my points a few times, rumpus the living hell out of George, but ultimately got to make my point enough times for this video to make sense. So another shout out to Randy Flat Earth, and I hope you enjoy the video. Speak to you all soon. Thanks again to Randy. We can, with that mathematical model, change the parameters, change the inputs a little bit, and predict what the new result will be. And then we can go into the lab or out in the real world and conduct an experiment that follows along with those parameter variations and see if what we predicted using that model agrees with what actually happens in reality. And um, so then we have new observations and a new collection of information. And we test these models by <clears throat> Again, making predictions and testing these predictions, and we develop more and more faith in our models once we conduct these tests and we find that they agree with what the models tell us. And so through this whole body of evidence and observations that we make, we uh, develop a high degree of confidence with certain of these uh, uh, models and mathematical descriptions, just like <clears throat> uh, Newton's. Uh, force law equation, you know, force equals ma. This has been tested, or um, uh, say force equals ma. This has been tested. Can I, uh, it, sorry, can I just introduce Nathan Oakley? Nathan Oakley has joined the call. Sure. Uh, any, any chance I can get just a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah, sure. Any chance you can present what I've just sent you as a screenshot, please? Um, <laughs> let's have a look, see. Right, okay, yes. Uh, can you see that, George? It's your presentation from a moment ago. It's okay, I can describe it to him. It's just the diagram. Just a minute, just a minute here, I'll see if I can. It's just the diagram that you drew two minutes ago with a picture of Earth next to a picture of a container. Next to a container. Yeah, it's okay, the, the audience can see it. You only drew it two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so my question is, the volume would be the amount of space the gas can occupy, correct? The the what? The volume would be yeah. the amount of yes. space yes. that a gas can occupy, correct? Yes. Yeah. So on this picture that's uh, hopefully presented to the audience with a picture of Earth, where did you get the volume? Oh, the volume I was just assuming uh, that we went as far as the Carmen line, which is 100,000 uh, 100, meters, 100 kilometers, uh, 62 miles, that's sort of taken as a traditional demarcation line between the Earth's atmosphere and uh, uh, vacuum of space. But it, it's an arbitrary um, designation because the actual atmosphere just... No, that's uh, okay. Uh, just ask my question again. Where did you get the volume for that diagram? Where? Yeah, I'll okay. just repeat my statement again, George. All so, right, yes. Sorry. Okay, here we have. Uh, George, what George, I'm assuming. George, 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 George have, I had 20 minutes uninterrupted. I'd like no, to, I'm telling uh, you. Without you being here, interrupted. We have two things. George, we have the radius of the Earth. George, George. So, as right. I conceded when I first asked, the volume would be the amount of space that the gas can occupy. Now, I appreciate that you drawing an arbitrary line that doesn't exist. The actual amount of space that the gas could occupy would be the space that it could occupy. In this case, space. Sure. Okay. So, so, so where do you get the volume, George? Well, I said the volume is out at the Carmen line. The no, no, George. Density, no, George. Well, George, if you let George, me George, explain, no, no, no. I'll explain George, it. No, George, no. The volume is the amount of space that the gas can occupy. And space is a space that the gas can occupy. So yeah, the, really, for, all pra pra yeah for all practice, for all practice, I know pra you've had 20 minutes. Why is it that you guys don't George, let George, me I'm speak? talking, George. Why is it when you let George. me speak? I'm talking, George. George, yeah. 
But you're asking a yeah, question. Let me shut up, George. Let me shut up, old man. Hang on, Did hang on. Can we, uh, can, we, can we get 30 I seconds? I 30 I seconds like without speaking. Like 20 minutes, like George has just had, uninterrupted without George interrupting me. I'd like the same 20 minutes George has just had, without him interrupting. I'll give you I'll give you 40 seconds, Nath. Go ahead. Why? Uh, 25 minutes, and I'm asking him a simple question. Where do you get the volume from, given that the volume is the amount of space that the gas can occupy? And an arbitrary line he draws isn't the amount of space that the gas can occupy. That would be space. It can occupy all of it. Now, this line he's drawn isn't containing anything. It doesn't give him a volume. It's just a made up idea, a line, a demarcation point, as he put it, an arbitrary point where he says the gas, which is trying to expand in all directions, meets the vacuum. Well, the gas can't just stop when it has more space to occupy, more volume. But George has just decided to arbitrarily assign this line as the amount of volume that the gas can occupy, when in reality, the gas can occupy all of the space. So I'll ask George again, given that this line doesn't exist and gas can't press on it, where did you get the volume, George? OK, now let me explain without interrupting me is. As you go up away from the surface of the earth, the air gets less and less dense. It becomes more rarefied. There's less molecules per unit volume. There's fewer and fewer molecules as you move up. Yes, in principle, the gas could it could occupy all of space. Yes, in principle, the gas could it could occupy all of yeah. space. In principle, the gas could it could occupy all of space. Could occupy all of space fewer and fewer molecules as you move up yes in principle the gas could it could occupy all of space from oh, here okay. to the volume, be, be, be quiet be quiet molecules per unit volume there's fewer and fewer molecules oh, okay. as the volume, be, be, be quiet be quiet be quiet space Look at I can't I yeah, can't, I can't proceed if you start going to let thing. me explain. Run away, run away, what, what away is then. Moan and run away okay. while I demolish okay. your argument, George. Just I'd like to talk and respond. So the space is George has just conceded. Okay. Okay. Talk you are on there. Two minutes. Stop talking. Two minutes. Stop talking. Then funny. Okay, right, Nathan. 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 Okay, the points are more fundy. No, no, no. This doesn't work. Stop fundy. No, I'm not going to stop. Let's talk. No, you, no, I don't want you to talk. Now the demolition of your religion. You, let me, you can let me talk. No, I'm not going to let you talk. It's all of space. Yeah, the space, question, the space, George, is all of space. You need and to let no me ask the question. Force. So I'll ask George again. Given that this line doesn't exist and gas can't press on it, where did you get the volume, George? Okay, now let me, yes, in principle, the gas could, could occupy all of space. Oh, here. As you go on. And I'm now talking, you just don't like it because I'm just. So this is a religion. So, Fundy, you can you find someone else? Me. Don't let me make a point. Hey, Fundy, else that destroys uh, your point. Hey, volume, George. The volume is the amount of space the gas can fill. The gas could it could occupy all of this. In this case, you just. Uh, uh, I won't let me, Willie. Would Fundy, you let me, let me please? And yeah, I'm for you. I'm for he won't let me, me make a couple minutes and I'll explain it. Give me a couple minutes and I'll explain it. I know where you're headed with this. Okay, yeah, we all know where he's going here, George. So could you try and um, explain what you was yeah, going to explain? I know. About I was just what, you were just saying okay. that the gas in theory could fill the space. So Yes, in theory it could. 